Welcome to Star Citizen 322. You want to make millions and millions of money? Millions and millions of AUEC? Watch this video. We'll show you how to do it. Coming up. Just keep in mind, I did spend about 50k to make 11 million, roughly. It is RNG. This was a very good run. So just keep that in mind. You're not always going to get great stuff. We are on... Brio's Breaker Yard in the Crusader system. Take a note of my money up in the upper right. 9.8 million just for the Weevil Eggs. You are going to be rich. Brio's Breaker Yard is a very dangerous place to go. A lot of people sit there and wait. You could go to our court, go to their yard, or Curl 4, which lets you sell 50 at a time. In about 30 minutes, I did make about 11 million, just shy of 11 million, so it is very profitable. Ship I am using to do these in is a C2 Hercules Starlifter for the systems. Coolers are stock. Power plant's going to be the JS500. And for the shields, we are going to rock the FR86s, two of those. That's all we're going to need there. The next is going to be the vehicle weapons. Weapons, we are going to use the Omni Sky 15s. It's going to destroy our targets very quickly. Only thing that's going to take us a little bit of time is that hammerhead that's always out there. These are ERT missions. You can do VHRT and get some of the same loot. It's just as good. Um, but we are going to change a couple settings real quick. <clears throat> the only keys I have set right here are the vehicle weapons, power, shield. So go ahead and set those just the way I have them. These weapons do not have a very fast fire rate, but they do kill. They do murder. All right, in battle here, what we're going to do is we're going to just hold our A or D key to strafe them. That'll make sure we don't take as much damage. Make sure you have your ship shields displayed on that screen down there in the bottom middle. It is a lot easier. Advantage of A and D key to strafe the enemies will give you enemies die in the same location or area. Uh, this ship we scanned is garbage, so I'm just going to blow it up. This ship does have some very high profitable loot on it. It has May Slam Neon and some grasping weevil eggs. The grasping weevil eggs are gonna be the most profitable thing in the game at the moment. Just stick with the standard tractor green. Do not buy this one. It's kind of buggy, I don't like it. I switch back here in a minute to the regular one. Just not as good. If you want, you can take like lore toxin, but it's really not worth it. So I just toss it out in the space and say, eh, forget that. We don't want that. We don't need it. So grasping weevil eggs. That is what we want. We're not just doing this for money. We're doing this for a load of money. One of the advantages of doing these on a C2 is they do a very high amount of damage and they have a lot of cargo space so you can do a couple of these missions before you have to go sell. May Slam Neon are the drugs you want. Allure Toxin is not good. ETAMs, they're not, they're not as profitable. When you are getting in your ship to keep from flopping around like a fish on your deck, press B with your multi-tool out and shoot the top, top of your ship and you'll land on your feet. All right, we are gonna do one more mission just to show you the difference in loot that can spawn and will spawn. Sometimes you'll get completely boned the whole run and not get anything good. Caterpillars, C2s, M2s are all gonna have some decent loot. Hammerhead, basically if it has cargo, you wanna check it. All right, this thing has maze and quantanium on it, which we want both. Only downfall is we'll have to go to two different locations to sell the quantanium and the maze, but that's okay. After that second ERT battle, it does appear that my front door is broken. I cannot open it, so I have to move the boxes around and flip my ship around and back in. All right, let's climb the ladder, go upstairs, get back in the chair. Flip the ship around, back her in, and then get my loot. Ah, oh, life's hard. Make sure if you do have to back it in, you are very careful and you do not bump the ship. Make it float around. And it's going to make it very hard to get the loot off. So be careful. All right, before I grab those other boxes off that other ship, off the Caterpillar, I am going to move everything around since I can't open that front door. That make it easier for me to grab the loot off of that one and the box just totally floated into space careful with that 
If you've never seen a Caterpillar before, under the doors there is a panel on the lower left side of it. Each one of these doors will open and will have loot inside of them. The tungsten isn't very isn't profitable enough for me to even worry or waste my time with it, so we're just gonna leave it all there on that in that ship, and we're gonna move on to the next bay. This next one has Guantanamo in it. Once you grab all of the stuff you want, we can just go ahead and go back to Krill 4, Brio Breakyard, wherever you want to go to sell. The last part of this video got corrupted and it turned out to be all black for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I did make about 10 million on this run as well. So let's see where we can get these parts from. All right, Omni Sky 15s. For the weapons, remote turrets just leave stock. FR86 shields. Next thing we're gonna grab is the, the power plants, which is gonna be the JS500. It's gonna be awesome. Good power plant. <clears throat> we're gonna grab the best quantum drive for this. The reason why it's the best, it's real efficient. You can get anywhere and it's fast. Three of the parts we can grab from Cousin Crows and the weapons we can go to the Crusader showroom to grab and we will show where those are in just a second. All right, once you get to Orison, you're gonna find the elevators go down to the shuttle platform, and you are gonna get on the one that says Providence Platform. All right, once your shuttle arrives, you are gonna stay to the right, go up the stairs, go through this little hallway here, to you see this blue and white room, and Cousin Crows is right there at the bottom of the stairs. Once you get to the bottom of the stairs, you are gonna see three terminals, we're gonna go there. The very first thing we're gonna grab is the TS2. So just type in TS and it'll be the only one that shows up. Seeing as how everybody hates Warson and it's lengthy, lengthy time to get out of the atmosphere, make sure you grab the right one and that is the JS500, not the other two. All right, now for your shields, we wanna go with the FR86s. The FR86s, make sure you get the right ones. You need two of those and that is that. All right, once you snatch up those four, those three parts, go ahead and head back to the platform where you came in. Do not go back to the airport. You wanna to go to the cloud view, not to the spaceport. All right, our tram is just about arrived and you can see right in front of us that building with the blue sword on it. That's where we wanna to go to, to get our weapons for our ship. A lot of people don't like Orison, but I love it. We're gonna go upstairs, go in the building and stay to the left and enter the elevators and go to the Crusader showroom. All right, once you get out of the elevator, you're gonna see this Crusader sign. You're gonna to stay to the left of that. We're gonna walk around this corner. There'll be a bar on the left-hand side. Right to the right of it is the terminal. Once you get to the terminal, if you just type in O-M-N, it'll show up. You want the XV, which is 15, and then we can throw those on your ship. This build will work with the M2. So if you have a buddy that you're playing with, you can buy the M2. It has a little smaller cargo, but same parts will fit and it'll work. 